It has been quite some time since we've done some filming together. Today we're mixing it up a bit. We've decided that we're pretty good on instructional stuff now, so we're gonna go through a shop tour, just a day of the life of what it's like inside of my brain, which is probably chaotic, uh, but we're gonna knock out some cool projects, show you the shop, show you some of the logistical changes, some new hires, just kind of take it from there and uh, show you around what we do. Inside of our shop here, we've got about 1,750 square foot, give or take, single bay. It, it works for us. Our shipping is here, our warehousing is here. And uh, this was the step that we took when we moved from our two bedrooms and two houses. Uh, so this this really is our incubator space. You're recording this right It's only been 48 hours since I've joined Laura Obby's full time. It's exciting. Rob's excited. He's over the moon. So that's kind of cool to see. But it's fun. Learning a lot. So, so this yellow thing has been a very critical piece that I ended up making for our company years ago. It's a 3D printed part. I forget what plastic it's been. That's how long it's been. It's held up really well for us. So what this does is it fits on a quarter inch socket. It holds the uh, bolt head, bolt side, uh, two washers, whatever, inside of here as a custom piece where my grandfather, who assembles our corded units now, can reach up in there with a socket. I can't even get my fingers up in there, right? Stick it through, as you can see here, and get the bolt started. Uh, so that's the whole premise. So it saves a lot of time. It saved, I mean, this, this one thing's done several thousand vaporizers over the past few years, and he's finally worn it out and is asking me to make another one. Problem is, it's been so long that I don't have the file for this anymore. Uh, I don't even have the printer that this came off of. So I gotta sit down and redesign it, make it work on the new printers, and get it back to him so he can get back to making units. So that's the uh, that's the name of the game. So we're gonna see if we can knock this out real quick and get them cooking. Should be what we need. I'm not using your little fancy calibrator thing, but my little eyeballs can see their different sizes. Oh yeah, that side is different. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that side is different. This yeah. this side I got close. I'm like I'm like two thousand dollars. Shop dog, leave it. So well, that'll be a quick fix, luckily. Uh, but not, you got to fix the other side. Dude. Not too bad. Shop dog. Wait, I wasn't done my order. Move. You told me I could use my computer because you won't fix mine. I quit my IT job, okay? I just... Can't ever get a break around here. I guess, you know, that's... You hire your mom and you play the boss, but she's always really the boss. I guess that's just kind of how that one goes. I'm glad he learned that. Now you can tell. I do greatly appreciate. I am here to help guide you. I. That is yeah, my job. You're, you're good at guiding me. I know. All your life. I signed up for this. Now it's Cheyenne's problem. Signed up for that too. things from the shipping department like a true boss. Some of you guys may recognize this style of box, some of you may not. So these are the Hive IQ hives. Uh, they're polystyrene. As you know, if you watch a bunch of our content, I'm a very big Apame guy, and that hasn't changed. But a lot of our customers have been really asking me, 
how do you use oxalic acid vaporizers on these hives? Because they're polystyrene. The melting point in their their uh, styrofoam is way lower than the plastic on the Apame hive. So getting just a simple insert to be able to treat through the front entr entrance just isn't a thing. Uh, so I, I really have been tinkering behind the scenes. I had, Like I said, I had a few customers call me, so I ordered one. Uh, we've been tinkering. I think I found the right solution. So I'll walk you through a little bit of highlight on it. So it's a two-part solution. One piece goes on the bottom. The other piece goes on the top. Both of these are currently just 3D printed models. Uh, I do a lot of that. I, I model things in 3D and then print them on our three bamboo 3D printers um, to test fit them and all that stuff. And then we'll take them to sheet metal. So eventually both these pieces will be 16 gauge stainless steel. I should be picking them up today, but we just got to see how that goes. Um, that being said, each colony will need a set of these, but you can hang your vaporizer on it and walk away. That's something you can't do with the Apamase, just how they're designed. You just can't get the leverage. You'll start mounting stuff. Uh, so I'm, I'm very happy with this. Both of our models of vaporizer can hang on it and be just fine. I, I also think it will be comparable or compatible with other vaporizers on the market, depending how testing goes. So I'm hoping the next handful of days, weeks, what have you, that we're going to have some sort of final solution that will hopefully be somewhat like this. I, I don't see why this won't work, but we're going to do a bunch of testing just to make sure it's the perfect solution for you. Uh, so we'll take it from there. The last time she did that, it was on a dead cricket. <laughs> the time before that, she did it on a dead cricket. The time before that was fox poop. That pops Two way <laughs> So we're headed up to the uh, leasing office. They are reshaping their business. They're redoing all their stuff. Um, and most importantly, they're trimming down stuff. So there's a big auction that's going on right now. Uh, Mom and Cheyenne both walked up uh, to see what's kicking. So we're going to see if we can't get thrown into the mix, see if there's things that we can benefit from, take a few shots at, and uh, see if we can't get some good stuff for the new shop. So we'll see if they let us take in. Yeah, so they were in the vending business uh, there for a while. Hey, Rob. Hey, I'm coming. I was originally one of the shops. Honey, look, look at these shelves. So, so the new shop will have all the and powder racking. Shelves. I'm actually sure? cutting racking out of it. Are you sure? Yeah. What about this racking? What about this? So uh, that was upstairs of the auction. So that ended up being pretty good. A lot, a lot of older stuff. They're, they're, it's a very old company. Uh, they ended up having some small shelvings for some small components and stuff that I'm actually pretty excited about. So it is auction style. We'll see what happens, see if it outbids what actually financially makes sense. So uh, we'll play that by ear, see what happens. And uh, now we're going downstairs to see if we can get a hold of anything else that may pique our interest. Stay tuned. cigarette machines and all that stuff. I think the only thing I'd, I found that piqued my interest was a, a little toolbox that we may put some of the uh, um, CNC tooling in, but I, I still fear that it may be too small for us. So, uh, But it's worth looking. You never know what you're gonna find. It's close enough to the shop, price is right. So, you know, we'll, we'll take it from there. That's what you asked what they are for. They're for putting on boxes. What size box are you gonna use? These are teeny tiny little they're bigger than a bee. Rob, what are we going to do with teeny tiny labels? 
Label small things. You bought a case of them, son. Label a lot of small things. I That's your brain. Thank you, son. 